Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Wow. Have you heard the news? Apparently there is uh, news, well, through Crazy Days and Nights, that Harry signed a lease. Now, other people say that he's actually, that's what he was doing in New York. I don't think he signed a lease when he was in the UK because he wasn't there long enough, number one. And number two, there's lots of rumors that he always has a place at Uncle Charles. He's currently in South Africa. He made it there safe and sound. And our Losesso, Losesso, he's in Africa. He's in Southern Africa. <laughs> um, so I've got the Arcanum. I don't know why this deck wanted to read on this, but I'm going to ask, is Harry moving to the UK? Or is Harry is Harry moving to New York? Let's, let's erase that. Is Harry moving to New York? Is Harry moving to New York? Upright positive, reversals negative. Is Harry moving to New York? Is Harry moving? And then remember I did that one reading about Harry, about is he going to see his uh, dad or his brother? I did it a couple of months ago or a month ago when he announced he, he was going to the UK. And I said, there's travel, there's travel, like there's something here, there's some kind of travel coming on. And, you, oh, I think it was his birthday, maybe. And here, it was because he was he was traveling to South Africa from uh, the UK. He was not going home. I, I realized that afterwards, and that's why travel was so strong on there. And I kept saying, I wonder if he's going to travel up to Balmoral. No, he was there, he did his thing, and then he jumped on a plane, and he continued to travel. He did not return home. So I'm going to ask, upright positive, reversals negative, is Harry moving to New York City? Is Harry moving to New York City? Did Harry sign a lease to, in New York City? Did Harry sign a lease in New York City? Cards are ready. Five of Wands in reverse. Well, that's there's a struggle. Knight of Swords in reverse. Well, there's the news. Five of Pentacles in reverse. There's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse, the Fool in reverse, Six of Pentacles, upright. That's a very strong no. Six in reverse and one Six of Pentacles, upright. He moved where he could afford. He's moving to where he afford. He's not going to New York City. That's here we have the media right here. There is a struggle. Look at he's returning somewhere. Five of Pentacles in reverse. He doesn't, where he doesn't have to work. He's very embattled and he's something foolish. He's going to somewhere where he can afford. So now let's ask, did he sign a lease in, in London, like in the UK? Maybe they had all the papers ready and walked in, signed and walked out. I mean, you can do a lot by internet now, right? Especially if you have a representative and, and also... Um, a lot of people are saying, is he going to move into King Charles condo in New York City? Well, obviously he's not going to New York City. Did he sign a lease in London or in the UK? Did he sign a lease in the UK? Upright positive, reversals negative. Upright positive, reversals negative. Upright positive, reversals negative. Six of Wands in reverse, the Star in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse, Page of Wands upright, Hanged Man in reverse, Knight of Pentacles in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. No, he did not. He did not. Um, no, absolutely not. I mean, we got six, uh, six uh, reverse, one upright on both answers. So did he sign? Let's just ask how, let's ask if that's even true. Did he sign a lease? Is that information even true? Is that information even true? Did he sign a lease? Is that information even true? 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 
Is that information even true? Upright positive, reversals negative. Is that information even true? Upright positive, reversals negative. Cards are ready. It just occurred to me, I wonder if, if Megan sent that in just to see, to fish around. Three of Swords, Betrayal. The Tower in Reverse. Temperance, King of Cups, Six of Pentacles in Reverse, the Empress in Reverse, Ten of Cups, Upright. Yeah, it is. He did sign something. I think Daddy's helping him. And, um... Hmm, I wonder if it has something to do with his with his um, inheritance. Daddy's definitely helped. Daddy showed up here. Betrayal, family betrayal. The tower in reverse and temperance. This is some way he's trying to calm things down. He's trying to calm down some kind of betrayal. Um, this could be because of his inheritance that he got. And maybe he wants to be closer to the children. So yeah, this story is, is true. It's a soft yes. There's four here, four upright. So it's a soft yes. So let's ask, is it in California? Is the lease 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 in California? It's a lease in California. It's a lease in California. It's a lease in California. Cards are ready. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The star upright. Five of Wands upright. Four of Pentacles in reverse. The moon. Queen of Swords, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. Yeah, it's just, he's there for the kids. Yeah, it's in California. He, he does, the, the, he has a lease or he signed something. Here's the divorce card, Queen of Swords. He's trapped there in California if he wants to um, have any kind of maintain some kind of facade with the children. The contract with the children, I suppose you could say, because I'm calling it a facade because the moon is here. He's not there for work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We got the star, hope and healing, hope and healing of a struggle and the four of Pentacles. He has like the, they're broke. I keep re I keep reading. They're out of money. They're out of money. What's the underlying your soul there? The strength, the Leo card. She's got something on him that he can't leave California. So yeah, he he did sign a lease, but it's in it's in California somewhere. And look at that! Look at the last card. It's to do with it with the kids. So does he have to keep the facade up about the kids? Is it is that the contract? Is that the contract with Netflix? There's the big red N. There's some kind of contract that he that he's trapped in with these kids, with these children. And it's all, it's, there's some kind of big illusion going, well, yeah, they're going to maintain that they're still married, but no, he, th this is absolutely true. He's hope, this is his hope and healing, um, to, to stop, stop some of the struggles. Cause he's certainly not staying there to work. He's staying there to keep things going, but he has no money. He can't buy a plate. Well, I don't know if he can or not with his visa. I don't know the rules in, the States, Canada lets anybody buy anything, I swear to God. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, he he definitely has to uh, watch his pennies. He's blowing through money like crazy. So yeah, there you go. He did, he did sign a lease and it is in California. And it's so to keep up the facade about the children. If the children are there or not, um, I don't know. He's trapped there. He's definitely made a trap for himself through some kind of contract to keep up a facade. 
and it's costing him dearly. Interesting, we didn't get another lady in here. The only we got the strength card in reverse, which is Megan, her Leo card. All right, thank you very much for watching. The magazine is out, and this Halloween issue is so much fun, honestly. And uh, talks we talk a lot about the moon and uh, all all sorts of things, all sorts of things. How to make a great October. And uh, the, the bonuses, I mean, the bonuses alone are worth the price of the magazine. It's only $6.99 and you get the Moon and Astrological Planner for 2025. You can just print out, uh, you can go to Staples, print it out or print it out uh, week by week on, at home. Uh, but you can plan your whole 2025 around Mercury retrograde, for example, or when the moon is full and you want to do things. And uh, we got eerie and creepy music uh, for Halloween time. You can play while you're giving out candies. And, uh, and then a book on Halloween. It's really interesting. All the different things about it's written in 1919. So it's got all the old myths and, uh, and why we do certain things at Halloween. And it's actually very, very well written and, and very interesting. So even just those alone are worth the $6.99. So I really encourage you, uh, they just go down to the website and follow the links to a magazine. Thank you very much for watching. Please take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <coughs>